What's up GFM, this is Justin from Studio G and welcome to G Academy. In this tutorial series, I'm bringing you alongside the journey of me customizing this MG Sazabi Verka and our goal here is to turn this regular kit into the Infinite Dimension Resin Add-on Kit at the end of this 15 part video series. In this video, we will talk about scribing patterns, type of scribers, and scribing basics. Most of the Gunpla or model kits, they lack design. While most of the people don't mind, I do. As a scriber, you are prone to look at things differently. You see lack of details, I see opportunities. And I guess that's how we should look at life in general, isn't it? By scribing, you are adding details, character, and depth into your kit. However, they need to be appropriately designed to convey realism or to make sense. They need to look original like it's meant to be on the kit itself. And that brings us to the next topic. When we talk about scribing, we speak about panels and notches. The best way to design panels is to always put yourself in an engineer's shoe. Think about how would you design this robot and how would you piece together all these armors together to build this robot? These are the essential questions that you need to ask yourself. Personally, I follow some rules. One is to make sure that your design always makes sense. Two, the angle in connecting lines should not exceed 90 degrees. And three, always have a variety of width in your design. Let's start with panels containing electronics. Those are generally rectangular boxes containing a notch in the middle or at the end, just like your electrical boxes at home. Do not place these rectangular boxes all over your kit because that's gonna look unrealistic and it's just gonna be plain messy. Next, we have panel lines connecting two armor plates together. Generally, it's just two lines parallel to each other with an angled line in between them connecting them. They can be as far apart or as narrow as possible but the rule is the lines connecting them should not exceed 90 degrees at both ends. Next are the irregular panel. You can use this panel as you like. Mostly I would use them as design filler or to fill up places that I did not cover. For example, instead of using a regular box, try to spice up the design a little bit more by adding two more lines at the corners of the rectangular box, thus eliminating 90 degrees in total. They look good next to panel lines, and they are what seasoned modelers would do. Get familiar with these three patterns, practice hard, and sooner or later, the god of scribing will bless you with your own set of design automatically. Now let's move on. Here in front of me, I have three types of scribers. Number one would be the regular steel type, second would be the photo edge type, and last but not least, are the tungsten scribers, either with a hook design for its head or a regular chisel design for its head. I started with the steel scribers a little over a year ago. They are good enough for beginners who just want to try out scribing. They don't cost much and they usually come in a set with various sizes. However, don't expect them to use them for very long because they are brittle, they are prone to breaking, and they get dull pretty quickly. Expect to use them on 3 to 4 kits if you're careful enough and you will want something better moving forward. I got these photo edge scribers as a gift from a fan because at that point the whole world was on lockdown and there was no shopping possible other for essentials. I used them on several kits, they work well, however they do not teach you a lot about how to handle a scriber or scribing in general. So don't even bother to get them unless you already got them, unfortunately. Next, let's look at some proper stuff. Out of every tool that I've got, Scriber is the only tool that I will not cheap out. Quality Scribers will always produce quality work. My scribing didn't get good until I got my very first tungsten scriber from Mapworks. Today, let's not dwell into specific brands and for Mapworks, I'll leave them for future reviews coming to this channel. Tungsten is the hardest steel in the world and because I wash Dr. Stone, I guess I am right, correct me if I'm wrong, Tungsten. but I guess I'm right. They are fantastic, they last long, and they just don't chip in general. So once you graduated from using the regular steel scribers, you are welcome to check back the channel for more scribers reviews. So please make sure to subscribe, okay? Step 1. Get yourself some label making tapes, dymo tapes, or hard edge transparent tapes specifically designed for scribing or some just opaque tape with a hard edge. Next, using what we learned earlier, let's start scribing. I'm going to link everything that you need to begin scribing down in the description below. Here I'm going to start designing my patterns using a pencil. Once confirmed, then lay down the tape at right at the edge of the lines you have drawn. Also, please get familiar with scribing on an old kit or your friend's kit if you're just starting out. 
Next, start scribing from the direction that you are most confident with. I am right-handed and I like to scribe from left to right because I'm familiar with it. You should never ever scribe in the direction that you do not prefer. Start with a super light pass. At this point, it's just like you're guiding the scriber alongside the edge of the tape itself without exerting any downward force. And you end up with a groove or track after a couple of passes. The tracks are used to guide your scribers and also to prevent it from running off. This is where you would start applying force and actually scribing. Do at least two or three passes and then you are done. I do not recommend you to start doing any connecting lines or corners when you're just starting out. Instead, start with multiple lines and then only connect them afterwards. That's all for part 1 with this scribing tutorial. In the following video, we will talk more in depth on how you can spice up your design by using simple tricks. That's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this tutorial, let me know by smashing the like button 2021 style and also subscribe to the channel and share the video to a friend in need. Never stop building. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.